Welcome back, everybody. Coast to Coast, This Week in America, online, thisweekinamerica.us. Our guest on today's This Week in America says the first principle of success is knowing what you want. His book is a life and career guide that teaches students how to decide what they really want. The book, the highly acclaimed Planning Today for Success Tomorrow, helping students choose their college or trade school major and career, written for parents, students, and others to help students plan for a successful life. The author is Dr. Moses McCutcheon, Jr., professor, speaker, trainer, consultant, career coach, retired Army officer and author, a doctorate in organizational leadership from Pepperdine University with more than 30 years' experience as an educator, trainer, speaker, personnel management analyst, specializing in the discovery of life purpose as it relates to work, personal development, personal growth, and career guidance. He's the founder and CEO of the School to Success training system for parents and families with middle and high school students. He's the founder of the School to Success Holistic Education Collaboration Network, the author of the School to Success series, including the School to Success Total Education training system for K-12 students and family, in all over 17 custom-made life and career guidance training manuals and workbooks for youth and adult students, to discuss planning today for success tomorrow, helping students choose their college or trade, trade school major and career, Dr. Moses McCutcheon with us on This Week in America. Dr. McCutcheon, welcome to the program. It's a pleasure to have you with us today. Thank you, Rick. It's great to be here. Thank we, you. We have so much to talk about on the program today. Good luck compressing all of this. We'll cut, uh, hit some of the key points and, and guide you to uh, the website, schooltosuccess.org. We'll talk about that in a minute. What's interesting, this mission, this passion that you have to help people find their paths in life, that what came out of your experiences, I understand you talk about it in the book, at the several junctures in your life because of a lack of focus, a lack of planning, you had some, some setbacks that you had to work through. So this is really something you've experienced firsthand. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, at this point in my life, I want to help others now that I've made this discovery and the journey has been lengthy and it's been costly and time consuming to figure this out. So uh, having done the research, I see that most students have this same problem whereby 50% will admit that they don't, uh, that they really don't know. I was in that group and there is another approximately 50% that think they know. They don't realize that they do not know until after they have uh, paid for an education. They're actually in the workplace and they have student loans to repay and they realize that they have majored in the wrong field. You know, that has to be frustrating. You've got fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 of student debt and you realize I've got yes. this debt to pursue a career that I really find that, that I don't like. And the book, Planning Today for Success Tomorrow, will start you at an early age, which we'll touch on in a second, get you going in the proper direction. And you make the point career development, the training that you go through, saves time and money. So this really is the, the practical way to, to lay out a, a plan. Yes, yes. And this whole thing is based on using one's life purpose. After all, there are many clues uh, that most people don't realize that are clues to actually discovering their life purpose. For example, uh, if you want to, uh, you wouldn't take a, a hammer and try to saw a piece of wood because it doesn't work. So uh, you have to use uh, uh, things for what they were made for. It's just that as human beings, we have options and we have a free will and we are able to make decisions whether they are, whether we are adequately prepared uh, for them or not. Does that make sense? It makes perfect sense. And the emphasis in the book, Planning Today for Success Tomorrow, is on discovering one's purpose in life. That theme goes all the way through the book. It's an yes. excellent read for parents and for students and for counselors. And you work with all of those, those different categories. I keep mentioning school to success. Briefly, what is school to success? You've started so many phases of school to, to success. What are we talking about exactly? Okay, school to success is actually about the, uh, the individual. 
For example, it's about you. You going from your school, whatever that school might be, and you know that could be a trade school, it could be a college, it could be a technical school, to your own success in life. It's just that it works better if you train in an area that you already have a strong interest and a passion for. It makes perfect sense, and the book, once again, is Planning Today for Success Tomorrow, Helping Students Choose Their College or Trade School Major and Career. Dr. Moses McCutcheon, Jr., our guest on the program. The main website is schooltosuccess.org. You can link on to that directly by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Uh, potential candidates for your program, and it's interesting because the first chapter in the book is why career planning should start early. Your focus is on middle school and high school, and some would say middle school isn't that awful early to get started, and you say it's the right time to get started. Absolutely. I found that from my own personal experience and uh, research that supports that. In fact, I do case study research, and one of the, the things that, that has been very helpful uh, for me, even with, uh, with my church, uh, the, the pastor uh, um, uh, and I have been working very closely uh, with the community, the community Development Corporation, which is the Bethel LA Community Development Corporation. This corporation exists because of the church, and it's, uh, it's an extension, it's one of the, the major ministries of the church, and it's an extension of the church that allows us to provide services within the community. So I do community work through the Bethel LA Community Development Corporation, and my own personal focus is the life and career guidance piece, but then I'm able to uh, conduct case study research based on needs of the community and bring in other people who have an interest in helping uh, people, regardless of their age or regardless of their situation, helping them to to uh, improve themselves. So this has been an uh, 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 excellent way for, uh, uh, for me to do my own work that I'm passionate about and give other people an opportunities to do what they do best while helping the family. So when we focus on the family, we're focusing on everybody in the household because it literally takes a village to raise a child. And it's interesting because in the book you talk about career planning should actually start with family planning. This is really something, as you just said, yes. the entire family should be involved in. Yes, absolutely. You know, you've talked about something that uh, is a little off the, the subject, but it's interesting feeling there's a connection possibly between homelessness and a lack of direction early in life where someone actually fits into society. Uh, so this this really has a lot of aspects, different aspects to it, doesn't it? Yes, absolutely. Um, and I've had, uh, I've been blessed with the opportunity to actually study this during the, the past few years. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, my own pastor, Reverend Dr. Kelvin T. Calloway, uh, has an interest in the community, and, and uh, we brought uh, a member, brought to us the uh, Winter Shelter Project, which is a project that takes uh, the homeless off the street during the, uh, during the winter months. And our goal is to convert to a year-round shelter where we can help them but we provide uh, an array of services through our holistic total education piece, which, which focuses on whatever the needs are in the community, and we are able to help many move to another level. And it connects to the messages that the pastor preaches in the church. You know, I mentioned all your background in the beginning can only touch on it, but very active in the community as well as in church activities, as you've just talked about. Dr. Moses McCutcheon, Jr., yes. author, professor, speaker, trainer, career consultant, career coach, 
author of the book, uh, many books, the one we're talking about today, Planning Today for Success Tomorrow, Helping Students Choose Their College or Trade School Major and Career. Some of the examples that people have been helped by your program, someone talks about they wanted to, their parents wanted them to be a teacher, they wanted to be a musician, and I'm sure that resonates with a lot of people. I have sort of what I'd like to do. My parents are guiding me. They've never had a lawyer in the family before. They'd love to have a lawyer. They think I'm smart enough to, to handle that. <laughs> Talk about that when you've got, you think you're interested in one thing, they think you should be interested in another because it obviously has to be your choice. Absolutely, and this is one of the reasons why, um, you know, there's a, uh, Research shows there's a high rate of suicide among young people, and then there are older people that we are surprised at. Uh, many of them are stuck in uh, careers, and that's why that's, that's a reason to start early so that you can avoid being stuck in something that you hate. Uh, and I found that through my own experience as well as documented research of many other people, in fact, there's another case that I studied where a, a student was in graduate school studying psychology and realized that, you know what, this is not my interest. I don't like this. Yeah, so, and so often, so yeah, people... Process, I teach the process that allowed them to make this discovery for themselves. And then they can, I teach them how to use what they have discovered as a tool to choose the, a college or trade school major and career. That's... And another thing I'd like to mention is that um, one of the main focus and the, and the group that I'm looking to help are counselors. There are no schools that have enough counselors. On the low end, uh, there are uh, uh, an average of about 500, and, and this, these numbers uh, apply to California, for example, 500 students to one counselor, that's on the low end. On the high end, it's, it's roughly 1,000 to one counselor. So there is very, very little life and career guidance done, not because um, the, we don't have counselors that are, are intelligent. The counselors are there uh, to do their work, but it's more that they, than they can do. And uh, so this program focuses on helping counselors so that the counselors will have a resource in the community that can help them with their work. There's simply not enough of them to do the work. Yeah, it's shocking when I read that part of the book about counselors and they're trying so difficult, but it's hard to remember students' names, let alone their interest, and maybe guide yes. them along a career path that they would be interested in. The information is available. I'm going to give you this website, and we have it on, on our website as well, schooltosuccess.org. At the end of the program, there are several other websites with Dr. McCutcheon, that, and I'll have him give you those that you can look up the information that, that we're talking about. The beauty of the book is it's very easy to read. There are surveys, there are questions, there are self-assessments that you can do. Divide it into three parts. Why career planning should start early. We've touched on that a little bit. How to prepare today for success tomorrow. And then how to implement your plan for future success. Let's go back and pick up for a, a minute or two on how to prepare today for success, to, success tomorrow. And again, you've got that starting with things I love to do. Basically, it all comes back to that, doesn't it? Everything else sort of branches out of that question. Yes. And one of the pieces that we have in place, and we will work this through our community development cooperation, we are building a network. That network is called uh, the School of Success Holistic Total Education Network, whereby we are looking for individuals, groups, and companies who are passionate about what they do and have been doing this. Most people who love something, they're literally doing it for nothing. They hadn't, it's a hobby. They haven't figured out how to make uh, money from this. So what we do, we look for, for them and give them an opportunity to provide that service to the church, to uh, also through the, um, the nonprofit community development cooperation with the goal of ultimately making money from what they love. So as they join this organization for free, and start to do something that they enjoy, we start to work with them 
on how they can convert this into income. And if you're thinking, well, I'm not real sure what my purpose in life is, you actually sort of take them by the hand and help them find out by the series of questions that you ask them. Some of the yeah. chapters in, in that part of the book, How to Prepare Today for Success Tomorrow, use your purpose in life to choose a career, explore education and career opportunities, employment readiness, and yes, it starts at middle school. You take them all the way through that, even creating a resume package for job search. And if you're thinking, if I'm an eighth grader, why do I need a resume? It gets you focused. It's sort of your first resume, and, and it's interesting the things that you would put on there, but it helps to find who you are as a person. And then yes. time is going by so quickly. Let's go to, to part three, how to implement your plan for success. All of that is fine, but if you don't get to part three, you're sort of still stuck in neutral, aren't you? Yes, yes, yes. And, and you know, the time to explore is the K-12 environment because once you leave, once you graduate high school, now you, you pay to go to college or you pay to go to trade school and most students really don't know what they want to do at that point. And that's our focus. And that's where we can really help the counselor because the counselor doesn't have enough time and nor are they trained in this specific area that I'm uh, 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 trained in. In fact, that's how I end up with a doctoral degree uh, uh, with focus on this particular issue to resolve it for myself. As you develop a, a personal roadmap for those you work with, those that read the book, Planning Today for Success Tomorrow, one of the key components of that is establish a focus. And yes. when you think about it so often, we may have a grand plan, great goals, and we get sidetracked. Sidetrack. Yes. We, we, we have no focus. How important is focus and keeping you on track so you get that goal? Well, uh, uh, focus has a lot to do with, with, with timing. For example, uh, as you know, a goal is not a goal unless you set a deadline. So if you set a deadline of a year to accomplish a goal that, that has been established and you are not focused, it means now that you're not going to reach that particular goal within that 12-month period because you are doing something else. So focus is very important. You need to stay on track if you're going to reach the deadline that you've established for yourself. And if you're thinking, that sounds good, but boy, I have a busy life. You may be a little older. You may have a, a child at home, and you're trying to juggle maybe school part-time with family and whatever. You say manage your time wisely, and once again, you don't just say it. You show us how we can do that. Time management, yes. once again, is crucial to achieving any amount of success in life. Absolutely. Absolutely. The, the website we've talked about is schooltosuccess.org. What other websites could people refer to, to to get information not only in the book, but all of the services you offer for parents, for students, for counselors? Okay, we have... Uh, uh a website, uh, drmosesmccutcheonjr.com, that focuses just uh, on, the, on the book. And then we have the schooltosuccess.org, which is uh, the one that you mentioned, which focuses on families uh, with middle and high school students in the household. Then we have uh, mccutcheonresearchglobal.com that focuses on adult students, students who already uh, in college, uh, in a graduate program, or, or they're uh, out of school. And then we have uh, the Bethel LA Community Development, uh, well, BethelLACDC.org, uh, which is for Bethel LA CDC uh, Community Development Corporation, where I do community work, and you will be able to see the different services that we offer and you might have an interest or a talent or a gift that you want to offer the community. And so you, you could come in through that window. So all of these sites work together to help the community with focus on people. And School to Success is about you. You going from your school to your success in life. And it's a win-win for all. Can you imagine a group of people who are living their life purpose. For example, your eye is made to see, your ear to hear, 
those are specific purpose. So your, your, your eyes have a specific purpose to see, and that's what it's used for. Uh, your ears have a, a, a specific purpose to hear, and that's what it's used for. So you, can you imagine uh, an organization moving with people who are either working in their purpose or close to their purpose? That would be an excellent running machine. You know, time goes by way too quickly, and I knew it was going to all end up the way we started. The uh, Everything that you're doing is an emphasis on the discovery of one's purpose in life. Everything is in an outgrowth of that. Our guest on the program today has been Dr. Moses McCutcheon, Jr., author, professor, speaker, trainer, consultant, career coach. We're talking about on the program today, but he's got, as I mentioned, over 17 books and manuals there. Planning today for success tomorrow, helping students choose their college or trade school major and career. Keep in mind, as we've talked about, career development training will save you time and money. And the earlier you get started, the better. The website is schooltosuccess.org. That's the main website, and we'll have that up on our website as well, thisweekinamerica.us. Dr. McCutcheon, would love to do this again. So much more to talk about. Excellent program, excellent work you're doing. Thank you so much for sharing it with us on the program today. Thank you. It has been our pleasure. And once again, Planning Today for Success Tomorrow is the name of the book, Dr. Moses McCutcheon, Jr. And the website is schooltosuccess.org. All of that on our website, thisweekinamerica.us. <laughs>